Good morning. I'm Jennifer Egan. And I'm Rondella Richardson. We are interrupting Good Morning America as the city of Boston commemorates one Boston day. On this day, 10 years ago, our city was hit with unimaginable tragedy. In the end, five lives were lost. Martin Richard, Crystal Campbell, Lingzi Liu, MIT officer Sean Collier, and Boston police officer Dennis DJ Simmons. Happening right now, a roof laying ceremony to reflect and honor the victims. We take you there live now. This is all happening at 755 Boylston Street, the site of the first bomb going off at what was then the Forum restaurant there. We saw the Richard family holding hands. There you have Jane who lost her leg, her mother to her right, Denise and Bill, and of course Henry will be leading team MR8 for the marathon on Monday. They're joined by Mayor Michelle Wu and also Governor Maura Healy. This is a walk that takes a lot of courage, I think, as I watch it. 10 years later, an especially poignant anniversary, a somber anniversary, as they're now walking to the site of the second bombing uh, along Boylston Street. Those bombs going off around 2.50 in the afternoon, but in the years since, uh, the city has held this wreath-laying ceremony to mark the lives lost there. And also on the scene there is the family of Boston Police Sergeant Dennis DJ Simmons. He, was, of course, was in a shootout with the Marathon Bombers and lost his life in the days following injury sustained on that Marathon Monday. We remember that incident that happened in Cambridge. Of course, MIT police officer Sean Collier was killed that week. And then like so many officers, Officer DJ Simmons rushed over to Watertown in response to that. Uh, so here we are 10 years later, um, walking down Boylston Street. Again, Governor Maura Healey and Mayor Michelle Wu, they will pause again uh, at the site of the second 
bombing, a wreath-laying ceremony will be held there as well, and then a moment of reflection. I think it is difficult to believe that it has been 10 years. It doesn't feel like it's been 10 years since this happened. So many lives were changed by all of this. Of course, we also remember all the hard work, dedication of the doctors, nurses, first responders mm -hmm. in the immediate moments right after this happened, and then the days and weeks after as well. It has just changed so many lives, of course more than 200 people also injured. And the memorial there where they stopped at the forum, the artist, uh, Pablo Eduardo, was actually chosen by the families and the survivors. And it was a 21-foot cylinder of glass light encased in bronze. And now they're walking up Boylston Street toward, you'll remember Marathon Sports was the site of the second bombing. And there will be a marker later today place near the finish line in a memorial that will also cover live. That will be later toward 2.30 time. But you can expect honor guards, um, a bell ringing, and there will be the Boston um, Symphony Orchestra also at that location. Jane just grown up into a, a wonderful young woman here. Of course, she's now in her teen years. She plays musical instruments. She's starring in her, her high school play and she's really trying to lead the way here. And you can just see how she's been an example of so much valor and grace under pressure over the last 10 years, the entire family. Um, even Bill Richard, he had ringing in his ears that lasts until today because of what he experienced right there during the marathon 10 years ago. The family there walking, um, Mother Denise and and Jane to the left, and then you can see Bill and the mayors there also. And of course, we mentioned Henry Richard as well. He serves as team captain for Team MR8, running the marathon again this year. Who can forget his moment when he was crossing the finish line oh. when he ran the Boston Marathon last year? Um, this will be the last year that Team MR8 will run the marathon. Let's pause here and take in this moment as they approach the second wreath lane.
as they leave the marathon route, you can just feel the heaviness as they take every step there down Boylston Street. And, and 10 years, you know, so many of the teachers and the classmates of the Richard family, you know, Martin's classmates now in their teen years, Henry's classmates, his teachers, so many other people that never ran, were drawn to this race, to this moment, to this one Boston day because of what this entire community has gone through. It's, it's really remarkable. 10 years. I know Martin Richards' classmates would be 18 now. Yeah, it's hard so. to think about that. We've tried to turn this day into a day where you carry out an act of kindness, mm -hmm. something positive, but of course we do pause and remember the lives lost that day. Eight-year-old Martin Richard, the youngest victim, Crystal Campbell, Lingzi Liu, MIT police officer Sean Collier, and then a year later, Boston police officer, he was promoted posthumously to Sergeant Dennis D.J. Simmons as well. The meaning of One Boston Day, of course, is there will be 30 community service organizations out there you can join, or you can do an act of kindness on your own. Mayor Michelle Wu will be at Franklin Park later today helping cleaning up a playground. There's a wall where you can tie the yellow and blue ribbon over by the Fan Fest at the Marathon site. And it's just a day to do something kind, a day to remember, a day full of so much meaning. We thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you back here for News Center 5 at 8 a.m.